Hello viewers, welcome to another brand new episode of Quarantine Tech Talk. I am your host Divya and for today's discussion we have a very interesting topic that is 5G and we have Rekha with us. She is doing her masters in wireless networks and application from Amrita WNA and she is doing her thesis work in the area of 5G. So let us start this session by throwing some questions on to Rekha and Rekha here is your first question. What is 5G and how is it different from 4G? Hi Divya. Uh, first of all thank you for that uh, nice introduction. But actually the mobile communication network is such a vast topic to explore. But in brief we will discuss how this network has been transformed till 5G. So as we all know the world's connectivity demands are changing. The global mobile network traffic keeps on increasing drastically. So obviously the existing 4G LTE networks won't be sufficient to keep up, especially in dense areas. So here is where 5G comes into play. So when we look into the basic uh, difference between the existing network and the 5G networks, the first thing comes into our mind is the speed improvement. But beyond speed improvement, 5G networks should be capable of unleashing a massive IoT ecosystem where the network can serve the communication needs of billions of connected devices. There should be right trade-off between speed, latency and cost. So if we can look into the basic specificational difference between 4G networks and 5G networks, uh, let's consider the bandwidth. In 4G, the bandwidth was around 200 Mbps and that of 5G, it, were, it is uh, going to be greater than 1 Gbps. In case of latency, uh, from about uh, 200 milliseconds of latency in 4G, we come down to about less than 1 millisecond latency in 5G. Also, 5G tops out at maximum of 10 Gbps data rate, which is almost 10 to 100 times that we are getting from the 4G. Oh, we didn't know that 5G would bring so much excitement. I remember reading an article which says that there will be a separate bandwidth for IoT in 5G. Uh, could you provide some information on that? Yes, Divya, you heard it right. There will be a separate bandwidth for IoT devices in 5G. To make it clear, I'll introduce to you the different service categories in 5G. Actually, 5G should be able to support three different use case categories. The first one is the Enhanced Mobile Broadband or EMVB, which deals with the high data rate applications, for example, uh, augmented reality or virtual reality or uh, high definition video streaming, etc. High data rate applications. The second use case category is the Massive Machine Type Communication or MMTC. Which, that is which deals with billions of devices being connected to the network simultaneously. That is almost more than 100,000 devices per square kilometer is being connected to the network. So this, as you said, that IoT devices comes under this category, that is MMTC. The third category is the URLLC, Ultra Reliable and Low Latency Communication. So for each of these categories, different bandwidth or different resources should be allocated as per the requirement of the user. So what is this URLLC and who are its beneficiaries? As I said, URLLC is uh, ultra reliable and low latency communication, which demands stringent requirements in terms of both reliability and latency. In such a type of communication, the latency should be less than 1 millisecond and the packet loss ratio should be less than 10 raised to minus 5. The reliability can be defined as the success rate probability of the transmission. So it should be approximately 99.999% or almost 100%. So simply we can say that uh, no failure should be tolerable in such a critical type of communication. And uh, the telemedicine, verticals such as telemedicine, public safety, industrial IoT, etc. comes under a mission critical service category in URLLC. So these uh, remote surgery or driverless cars, etc. comes under this particular service category with very low 
latency requirement and high reliability requirement. So where do we have this 5G already deployed and what is the status of India uh, in 5G? In brief, uh, some countries like uh, South Korea being the first to deploy 5G, uh, China, USA, they have already deployed. Also some small countries, they have taken significant steps in bringing 5G commercially available to the people. Uh, in India, 5G preparations are going on and our government aims to deploy 5G by the third quarter of 2020. Uh, hopefully, we'll visualize the magic of 5G soon. Thank you, Rekha, for uh, giving us so many interesting facts about 5G and thank you viewers for listening to us so patiently if you have any doubts or if you want us to do more videos on 5g please let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel stay tuned for more interesting videos on quarantine tech talk